What's up, y'all? Gosh, I'm in such good spirits today. I'm just super overjoyed with peace. I just like really been going through a lot with everything that's been going on. I'm sure we all have, and I know that we all have been dealing with everything so differently and in our own way like we've just been dealing with it and uh when everything first started happening you guys like as we all felt that anxiety and like just the worry and the pressure and the fear the energy was so strong and it was so heavy upon us but i disconnected from that world and the only way i was able to see those things was social media and I just disconnected for a couple days and I just prayed and I worshiped and I really gave all of that worry. I just let it all out. I let all that fear out and I just, I, I surrendered it all through praise and worship. And you guys, it was the best thing that ever has happened to me. I'm just grateful. So just a piece of advice to everyone who is watching, surrender all your worry, your fears, your doubt, like just give it all up to god this battle is so much bigger than us and we don't even understand it we are doing what we can the things that we can not control on our own you have to give this battle to god at that point like you just have to give it to him because it's so much bigger than us and it's going to take more than just us it's going to take him as well to fix it and to get us through this so I hope that helps someone. I know that it definitely helped me. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into this Meg the Stallion tutorial. And of course, today's video, I will be using all black owned makeup products. Everything that I use except for the brows is black owned products. And I just love everything in this bag. I have a bag full of black owned products. And first we're going to go in with the Black Radiance True Complexion HD Corrector. And we're going to use this to clean up the brows as well as prime the lid for eyeshadow. All right, now we're gonna go in with our Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And this palette is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this palette. And we're gonna start off with that brown shade and just buff it into our crease first. And then after we pack it on, you just go in and blow it out. Blend until your heart is super content. Right now I'm going back in with that concealer and I'm just cleaning up the lid a little bit, the lower lid, close to the lash line. All right, and then I'm going back into the Juvia's Place palette and just packing that orange shade on. For liner, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner cause I'm black. We're just going to wing it out. I'm getting so much better at using this, I'm so happy. I almost gave up on it cause I'm like, um, oh, this is so hard to use, but as long as you warm up this product, it will work just fine. Okay, now I'm going to pop on some of my lashes. I'm popping on Style Jayana. If you guys don't have any shady lashes, which is my eyelash brand, you can click on the link in the description box to shop today. Okay, eyes are done. We're gonna move right along to the face. For moisturizer and primer, I'm gonna go with this Black Radiance Balm Stick. And I like to apply this right on the cheekbones. Give my skin a little rejuvenation, wake up the pores, get her ready. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with my Iman Cosmetics foundation. And I'm going to blend this in with a brush. I like to start off in the cheek area and I say this in all my tutorials. It really, really helps with applying minimal product without overdoing it and adding more product than you actually need. Start off where your problem areas are. Man, the coverage in this foundation is absolutely amazing. So amazing. And look at that, face is flawless, honey. Now I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 10. And to lighten it up, I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance Concealer that I used on the eyes. The Juvia's Place Concealer is really good for like um, canceling out the darkness. 
And then to lighten it up, I like to use the Black Radiance Corrector. All right, now I'm just going in and blending that in with a damp beauty blender. And I made sure I let that concealer sit for about two minutes because I want it to be very pigmented and I also want it to stay in place. Ready, and then I just go back in with my foundation brush and I blend out the edges. I'm actually going to skip cream contouring today and we're gonna contour with just our powders. So I'm gonna go in next with the Minted Skin Silk Powder. And this is my first time using this powder. I got the shade Light Tan and I'm so excited to see how this sets the makeup. And I'm going to push that in. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. No lie, you guys, this powder is so fine. Like, it's melting like butter right into the skin. Oh, my skin looks so good. It looks so flawless. <laughs> I'm also going to set the rest of the face with this powder. Okay, to bronze and contour the skin, I'm gonna go back into my Proof is in the Put-In Beauty Bakery palette, and I'm gonna go in with warm coconut and almond jelly. And I'm gonna start bronzing and contouring the face. Such a beautiful palette. Oh, these colors are amazing. For blush, I'm actually gonna go back into that Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to touch just a little bit do not go crazy. I'm gonna do one dab on that red. That's all I need. And I'm gonna use that as my blush. For highlight, I'm gonna go back into my Proof is in the Pudding palette. You guys, these palettes are everything. They're so universal. You can use them for eyeshadow, for bronzing, for contour, for like everything. You can use them for everything. That's why I love these palettes. And I'm gonna go in with Chia Pudding and Butterscotch Mixed. And I'm just gonna apply that right on the bridge of my nose. I'm also gonna pop it on right in the center of the forehead. Okay, and I'm just going to push that baking powder in because I need to utilize it since I'm super oily. I like to keep my baking powder on instead of brushing it away. And it looks like Meg has like no eyeliner on the bottom. She just has a little bit of the orange shadow on the outside of the bottom lash line here. And then she also has it like right here on the inside. So like the middle of her bottom lash line has no shadow or anything on it. Okay, so for lips, it looks like she just has a little lip liner on and Hmm, and I just have like a nude gloss on, but it's okay because she actually has nude gloss on in this look. And then for gloss, I'm gonna top it off with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk. Ooh, so pretty. So to get her nose, she does have a rounder nose like at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of my contour powder. I'm just going to contour right there and then when I get to like the tip of the nose, I'm not going to go all the way down. I just want to accentuate my bridge so that it appears that the tip of my nose is more round. And I'm going to contour right here in the crevice of my nose. It's giving me the appearance that the, the nose is actually bigger because all the shadows lead straight to the center, which is also why I popped that highlight on there to bring more attention to the tip of the nose. And I'm just gonna go with my Beauty Blender and push that contour in. Okay, I think I'm done for real this time. Let me go flat iron my hair, change my jewelry. You know how they go, you know how they go, and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. Oh my gosh, I love Meg Thee Stallion. That girl is bomb AF. She is unapologetically, okay, like for who she is. She, she rocks it every time and I'm just like, yes, girl, you better. And I achieved this look with all black owned products. What? 
I'm not even surprised though because that's just how we do it, honey. That's just how we do it. Well, thank you guys so much for coming to watch this Meg Thee Stallion inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you love Meg Thee Stallion, if you listen to Meg Thee Stallion, if you don't like Meg Thee Stallion, still hit a thumbs up on this video. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe for more makeup tutorials. Alrighty, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.